It's Dr. Searcy with your video summary for the day. Today we talked about Shakespeare's sonnets and in particular how they contrasted with other Renaissance sonnet sequences. We looked at the first sonnet of Astrophil and Stella, the sonnet sequence by Sir Philip Sidney, and the first sonnet by William Shakespeare from his 1609 sequence. Now, we noticed in our quotation for the day, shall I compare thee to a summer's day, that Shakespeare is fond of comparing his beloved to nature. We noticed that in Sidney's first sonnet, he's interest, the speaker's interested in having a poem baby, a, po a baby of the mind. That's what he wants to give birth to. Whereas Shakespeare, using nature as a comparison and what we desire from nature, argues that his beloved should reproduce himself, should have a child so that his beauty will never fade. This is just one way that Shakespeare's sonnets differ from other sonnets during the period. We also talked about rhyme, structure, rhyme scheme, how Astrophil and Stella's first stanza has the same rhyme words through the first 12 lines as opposed to the self-contained four-line quatrains of Shakespeare's sonnet. And of course, Shakespeare's sonnets are written in iambic pentameter instead of the Alexandrian or 12 syllable line of Sir Philip Sidney. So coming up on Thursday, you have your first exam. I hope you're ready. Short answer, um, both definition of genre and passage ID, and then finally an essay question. I hope you do well. Pray that you do well. I'll see you then. Bye.